Um, this is uh, my first uh, video update, first day of uh, doing nothing but the juice fast. Um, I want to talk about it a little bit. I mean, a lot of people show me support, and there's been a lot of crazy stuff on Twitter, uh, people commenting and things like that. And, uh, you know, people in my everyday IRL uh, life who are just, you know, I, it, it's really floored me. Uh, how much people have gotten behind me on this and you know I'm a big fat guy I've always been a big fat guy and uh, I apologize for the cable cars right outside my window which uh, you're hearing right now uh, but you know I'm a, I'm a I'm a great big fat guy I've always been a great big fat guy and uh, you know it's a problem I mean obviously I'm, I'm not happy being this way it's it's no way to live uh, you know it, and I, and I want to change it and so you know, of course, I've seen the Fat, Sick, Nearly Dead documentary with uh, Joe Cross. It's it's pretty good. Um, but, you know, a lot of me was like, that's Hollywood. That can't be a real thing that you can do. Even though, you know, seeing Phil, who was a gigantic trucker, like, you know, gigantic dude, uh, dramatically turn his life around just through the power of making your own juice and uh, sheer determination. That, that was crazy to me, but I never felt like that was something I could do. Until, uh, you know, a friend of mine, my buddy Dave Meeks, uh, shout out, he, uh, he actually started making juice himself at his, at his place, and he, you know, told me how great it was for weeks, and I just never really got over there and tried it, and, and eventually I did, and, and just that first, you know, cup, it, it really hit me, it was, it was amazing, I, I was amped, I had a lot of energy, uh, it tasted great, killed my hunger right away, and uh, it was awesome, and you know, it, it reminded me something of, of my childhood when I used to come home from school. It used to be hours before my parents would get home, we'd eat dinner. So, you know, I would just down like four cups of powdered iced tea, you know, the, the powdered iced tea mix in a container. I would just come home down four cups of iced tea to kind of kill my hunger for a little while. And so it kind of is very reminiscent of that. But instead of just like that sugary, horrible crap, now it's just, you know, tons of vegetables being grinded down into a juice and being slammed into my body. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I, I never took care of myself ever. I mean, you know, I, I, I drank too much. I drank too much, I should say. Um, I, uh, you know, I ate horribly. Uh, my big thing is, I mean, Taco Bell was crazy. I, I could just eat a million. I could eat the whole Taco Bell building. Um, you know, and, and as my life went on, when I was a kid, you know, it, oh, we're going to Taco Bell, three soft tacos, awesome. Uh, but as my life went on and, and as I got fatter and fatter and fatter, that you know, that, that bar was raised and I would eat a billion tacos, uh, now today, but today is the start of my first full day doing the juice fast. I know the day's not over yet. I intended to do a morning update, but, uh, my job was kind of busy today. So, uh, but leading up to it, I, I, I was smart. I actually stopped eating meat and cut out all caffeine and all, all, you know, diet sodas and all, all fruit drinks and stuff like that, uh, two and a half weeks ago. Um, so, you know, I, I was in a really good starting spot for this, a really good starting place. And even over just those couple weeks, they kind of validated my choice to do this because, uh, you know, the, it, it, my sleeping schedule was improved. I had a lot of energy, even though I wasn't drinking monster drinks or anything like that to kind of get me through my day. Um, you know, it, it was proof positive that I was on the right track and I was starting to do the right thing. So, uh, yeah, so that that's basically where I was at, eating a lot of stir fry, I'd eat spaghetti, rice, you know, um, Hispanic pita, uh, you know, just the chips and pico, like things like that, uh, kind of got me through. I mean, my knowledge base as far as vegetarian food is pretty non-existent. I mean, I, I never tried to be a vegetarian in my life, and frankly, I always kind of look down on people like that um, because you know, meat is manly power, and and you know, to each their own. I mean couple years living in San Francisco certainly changed my outlook on, on a lot of people's lives and everything. Um, but so, yeah, so I, I, I'm, I'm in a much better starting place. I mean, today, uh, you know, with the juice fast, they always tell you the first day is really rough. You're, you're going to feel lethargic. You're going to have um, a lot of problems going to the bathroom a lot and things like that. Uh, but for me, mostly today, it wasn't that bad. Uh, I know it's not over yet. I still have yet to do my final juice, which I'm going to do probably in about half an hour here. Um, but for today, you know, it mostly wasn't a problem. Um, you know, I had uh, not really many bathroom issues. And, uh, you know, I only got kind of tired around like 4 o'clock my time, something like that, uh, a couple hours after my, uh, you know, uh, uh, my lunch juice, I guess you could say. So, uh, so yeah, today hasn't been that rough. It's, 
and you know there were even temptations. I mean, I I had to walk by a McDonald's to, earlier today, and like I didn't care. I saw a, a you know a lady with a bag and a milkshake, and I was just like, ugh, you know, it, it disgusted me more than anything else. So that's good. That's a good sign. And uh, at the event today for for work, I went to go play a game, and uh, you know the whole buffet line style table with all this stuff on there, and you know I didn't care. I just drank two bottles of water, and I felt great. Um, and uh, for those of you who, who didn't grow up in Southwest Philadelphia, uh, water is water wherever you live. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's, I feel really good about this. I mean, I felt really positive about the decision to do it uh, from the get-go, but, you know, I worried about the execution. I mean, you know, it's, it, it's easy to say you can do it. It's easy to say you're, you're going to do it, but it's, it's a lot harder to actually do it, especially when you've been living for near 30 years on this planet with some really horrible eating uh, you know, habits and tendencies and, and, you know, my, mine were the worst. Um, but now, you know, it's turning around and, and before I started doing this too, over just two and a half weeks, I lost 10 pounds, just doing vegetarian, uh, not doing that much exercise, just, you know, trying to walk more, um, trying to ride the bus, uh, a lot less getting off a couple stops early to walk to where I had to go. Those were little changes and stuff that I did. Um, so, but yeah, it's, today's day one. I'm really excited uh, to go on further. I'm really excited to make my last juice for the day, my last delicious juice, get me through uh, the rest of my night, and then you know maybe go to bed around 10, 11, something like that. Um, but you know, part of this is is personal responsibility. So uh, so I lost 10 pounds over those two and a half weeks, brought me down to 350 pounds. I am really ashamed to admit that that's how fat I am, but it's the fact of the matter is I am 350 pounds. So. Um, I plan on doing these uh, updates every day. I'll do a weigh-in in the morning, and then I'll, you know, pretty much say what that what what my weight is, and whenever I get to, you know, that morning, whenever I get to the video in that uh, part of the day. Um, ideally, I would like to do the videos in the morning, but you know, things kind of get all over the place, and and uh, you know, my job, I'm I'm a games journalist, so it's uh, it's tough waking up on the West Coast kind of behind already. So uh, I have a tendency to kind of get right into work right away and just start kind of digging away at that so um, who knows when the videos are, videos are going to come but I am certainly going to update frequently as frequently as possible and uh, the important thing is is that this is this is a life change this is my life now and uh, I have no problem with that because I felt pretty good for almost all of today aside from just being a little tired uh, in the afternoon like I said so uh, and as far as the goal it's just to you know, lose weight, really. I want to do this as long as I can. I don't have any kind of fixed day in mind. I mean, I've seen people do 100 days, and that would be great. That would be ideal. Uh, but right now, I'm kind of leaning towards just to get to my birthday, which is January 18th. And uh, I have my parents and, and potentially my sister visiting that week. Um, so I know I'd be a real buzzkill if I'm just, you know, doing the juice fast all week. Uh, but you know, if I can get to the point when they come to visit that week, get off the plane, my parents are kind of shocked to see how much weight I lost. That'll be great, and I'll, I'll feel fine, you know, staying kind of vegetarian or, or maybe eating a tiny little bit of meat and, and just trying to stick with these new healthy behaviors for that week and then going back to the juice. Uh, but for the most part, I mean, this is just, this is kind of my life now. I mean, I, you know, I, I like my juicer. I, I like the juice blends, I mean, kale is great. Like, who would have thought kale and celery tasted great when you juice them down? Uh, and I'm getting way more veggies and way more vitamins than I've ever had in my entire life. But I'm very, very positive, very hopeful that this is that this is it. This is the answer I've I've always been searching for because, you know, I I need it. I need it. It's not a. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna be 30 in January, and it's not. It's not an ideal situation to be 350 pounds at 30 years old. And, uh, you know, I, I, I got to change and, and I'm really, I'm really thinking I can. And thanks to all the support of everybody. Um, it's, uh, uh, you know, it feels good. Feel, feels like people are invested. Maybe not as invested as I am, but I'll take it. So, all right, well, I'll, I will, I will update tomorrow. This was a nine and a half minute video, <laughs> which is pretty long. I, I'm sorry. I'm sure you didn't watch all of it. You may have just fast forward to the end here. Um, or maybe you didn't, I don't know. How do I end this? I think I just hit the button. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. And, uh, I don't know, do I need a tagline, catchphrase? Hashtag juice fest. There you go.